boron. Uh, what's it used for for the plants? What do, what do the plants need it for? It's required for several different aspects of plant cell functioning, including the following. Protein synthesis, cell wall development, carbohydrate metabolism and sugar transport, pollen growth, fruit setting, and seed production. What does a deficiency look like? Uh, on your young leaves, you may see tip burn. Uh, the younger leaves will also uh, curl and wrinkle. Growing tips will die, uh, so the very end of your leaf will start to turn brown and die. Uh, the root tips will swell and stop growing, so if you have access to your, your plant roots, if you're not growing in uh, uh, gravel or something like that, if you're growing in a DWC, uh, you can pull those roots out and look at them and you can see the roof tip ends. You may have to use magnifying glass or something of that nature, but you can see that they're swelling and, and they've quit growing. Uh, which is really bad. Uh, hollow stems may be observed when cutting the plant open. So if you look at this top picture, you'll see that the inside of this cauliflower stem is hollow. It almost looks like it's rotting from the inside out. Uh, that's due to a boron deficiency. All right, so boron toxicity, a uh, little bit different. Uh, it can look like the same as toxic levels of other minerals. Uh, so in all cases, uh, te water test is uh, indicated, and you really need that for all minerals anyway. Um, it affects the lower leaves first. You can see it growing, coming up from the bottom of the plant. The lower you go, the worse it is. Uh, and I've seen this a lot in stuff like uh, uh, anything vining. It really shows this deficiency quick. Uh, so you can, you can see it, and you need to test your water or do tissue samples of the plants to make sure that that's not what it is. Uh, like I said, the, it affects the lower leaves first and rapidly. So once it starts, it happens really quick. Affected leaves may cup down and or the tips curl under. So you can see that. It looks almost like these leaves are wilting, but they're not. They're, they're growing that way. They're, they're drawing in on themselves uh, like your hand would uh, if you had a cramp. Um, so it can start with slight tip chlorosis and moves quickly across the entire leaf. Uh, Let's see, we'll kill the entire leaf affected and then defoliate the entire plant. So starting at these bottom leaves, as they get worse and worse and they start to fall off, you'll see it rapidly progress up the plant and those leaves will fall off all the way up to the last leaf at the very top at some point. For dosing boron, um, the best way is to use our true new micronutrient mix. Uh, if you're dosing blind, that way you don't overdose. Uh, but you still have to follow instructions. Uh, you can't just go dumping this stuff in uh, because there's other other micronutrients in there that uh, if you get too high can become toxic for the fish and the plants. Uh, so make sure you don't overdose. Make sure you follow the instructions. Uh, if you want to add it directly, we'll help you with that. But you're going to need an extremely good scale that will measure down to uh, one one hundredths of a gram. So 0 0.01 grams. You've got to be able to measure down that close that way you don't overdose this stuff, all right? Um, and again, dose with uh, true new sodium borate. 